All right, hi guys, long time no see. Hope you survived the wind this morning um, or yesterday morning. All right, I'm gonna go through the video notes with you since sometimes it's difficult to uh, take notes while you're trying to understand the content and things move fast. So I'm gonna go through and we'll just double check that you got everything like you should. Okay, so parallel lines. Parallel lines are two lines that never intersect. All right, I'm going to actually, we want this to be my font color so we can see what the answers are. All right, so lines C, F, and J, K are parallel lines. Okay, they can go on forever. They will never cross paths. This symbol right here, the two vertical lines like that, that is the symbol for parallel lines, okay? Um, perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect to form a right angle. Get that in green. Okay. So this is the symbol for a right angle, the square. A right angle is 90 degrees. So if you see this little square symbol, that means 90 degrees. Uh, the two vertical lines mean parallel. All right. So uh, in the video, I talked about Broadway as a street that would cut two parallel lines, like this line down here. We call that a transversal. Lots of vocabulary today. Okay, when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the corresponding angles are something we call congruent. Okay, so in our video, we watched how when we slide one line over the following line, the angles are the same. So look how similar, you highlight the angles in those boxes, they're the same. They're going to slide these lines together, and these angles are the same. They're called congruent. So this is a really important thing to remember. When those lines slide back apart, you can see that the angles will still look the same, where this angle is the same as this angle. So you can imagine that in your head, sliding this line up to this line and the angles would be the same. If this angle is 122 degrees, this angle will be 122 degrees, okay? Really important concept. Corresponding angles are congruent. This angle right here is a corresponding angle to this angle right here, okay? This angle would correspond to this angle, and this angle would correspond to this angle. All right, so vertical lines are, vertical angles, sorry, are also congruent, okay? So here in my picture, uh, vertical angles are just the opposite, right? So X and X is a vertical angle. This O and this O is a vertical angle, okay? They are going to be equal as well. All right, supplementary angles have a sum of 180 degrees. So this x, the sum of x and the sum of o here is going to equal 180. So if I know x is going to equal a number, let's say it was 30, then my o is going to be equal to 150 degrees. All right. So if I, supplementary angles will add up to be 180 degrees, 180 degrees are, uh, or sorry, 180 degree line is a straight line. So if you have a 180 degree angle, that is a straight line. Okay, and just review, congruent, the word congruent means, oh, grabbed the wrong thing. The word congruent means they are the same, the angles are the same. All right, I really like this XO diagram. It makes things a little bit simpler. Uh, you don't have to memorize all the, uh, the theorems. You can just do this little trick, knowing that my X's are equal, my O's are equal, and then an X and an O adds up to 180. Um, o stands for uh, the obtuse angle. So the obtuse angle will be the larger angle, the angle that is larger than 
sorry, larger than 90 degrees. And an, the X is going to stand for the acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees, so the smaller one. All right, if you apply that to all of these transversals, you'll be able to figure out the angle, the missing angle numbers of all of these. All right, good job. We're going to turn it over to the back and um, we're going to do some review on paper now.